Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today's daily affirmation. This one's called, I think I can. Now, we're all struggling, guys. We are all going through weird times. Let's just face it, we are, right? Everybody's facing it. But what is occurring is that a lot of people are now creating in their own minds this whole scenario of giving up. Some of the words that I'm getting told in emails is hopelessness. No way forward. Can't get out of this rut. Some people are actually telling me they're about to give up. Please don't ever just give up, guys. There is so much to live for with what is coming in the next few years. So today I want to show you some things that I do, little tips and tricks, techniques, whatever you want to call them. How do I personally get through this? And I sit there and I think, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Because the more that I say, I think I can do this, the more I am creating a opportunity or a doorway, opening it up within my mind, where other options of how to do things come in. I think I can do this. That word think shows me straight away that I'm thinking. It's getting my brain doing its clogs and its little eh, 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 motions of its brain work, where it starts thinking of other ways, other opportunities, other avenues on how to get through this thing i'm going to share something with you on that happened to me on sunday took my daughter into one of the big universities here in brisbane they um, gave her an award she's only in year 10 but when we were in there we were talking to an engineer who does um he does laser cutting and he had this um laser cutting device there and he put this like thin wood it's like plywood or sheeting that you put around your house when you're building a house. So we had this um, plywood, that's what I call it, and he puts it up into his computer, which is monitors there, and he designs the shape, and then he can put words in it. So you could tell that throughout the day, because we got there a few hours after it started, he was putting in the number two, so people could laser cut the number two in a little square. So while I'm there, because hello, one, I have no gumption and I'm very confident within myself, I said to him, oh, can you please put my daughter's name in there? And he said, yes. So we put her name in and he put this little box around it so the laser cutter would cut exactly the details of what he said. And here it is. This is what he made for my daughter. See how you can see the sides of it where it's been laser cutted? This is really cool. You know, it's been... Look at the, the um, black from the heat of how they cut this. So when we got home on Sunday night, I said to my daughter, how did you go today? And she said, oh, mum, you know, I'm scared because it's big. It's, you know, it's a huge university and there was heaps of people there. She said, I'm really scared. And I said, darling, whenever you have these moments where you feel like giving up, these moments where you think, I think I can, I think I can, but it's a little bit hard because I'm going straight up a hill. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, before you get out and plateau or go downwards. I said, whenever you're having these struggles, when you feel like you're going to give up, remember how you felt today when this man cut out your name. He was giving you that inspiration, that motivation, and most of all that enthusiasm to face your future and to make the correct decisions that would benefit your life in the years coming. So I'm going to keep this for her. So every time that she struggles with her um, exams or her homework, I'm going to remind her of what this little piece of cheap plat um, piece of wood, look, it's not only a cheap piece of wood, but I'm going to remind her of what this represents. Whoops, upside down. I'm going to remind you of what this represents. It's not just a piece of plywood that a guy thankfully put a name into. 
It's the fact of what she could build in her own future. You know, you look at us now, you know, she's now a teenager. She's just turned 16. I'm now 56. Yes, I was 40 when I had my girl, okay? But even my life has so many possibilities in its own future. There are so many good opportunities coming. You know, we've just got to get through this next two years, guys. And the more that we say, I think I can, I think I can, or you find yourself a little piece of something, something little that you can just carry around in your pocket, or you just hold it. And every time you're having these struggles, you say, I'm going to remember why I've got this. Because this is the thing saying, I think I can, I think I can, I can create what's coming in my future. This is me getting out there and being the best version of myself in my future. This is also me getting out there, I think I can, I think I can, where I am now going to show other people how to bring out the best in them as well. This is where not only me, but everyone around me is going to feel this I think I can, I think I can energy and we are going to be productive. We're going to be motivated. We're going to be the critical thinkers. We're going to be the decision makers. We're going to get out there and we're, even if we fail, guess what? At least we tried our best. And even in those times of failure, we've learned something. Look at the guy who invented the light bulb. 3,500 times he tried to get the light bulb to work. And the guy said to him, how does it feel to fail 3,500 times? He said, I never failed. I learnt 3,500 ways of not how to make a light bulb. So it's never a failure, guys. Get it out of your head. Click that switch in your head and say, you know what? I'm doing my absolute best to get through these hardships of this world right now in the 2020s. I am doing my utmost to think I can, I think I can, and I'm going to get away out of this rut that we're all in. Because the more we say it within us, and the more we show ourselves these little things that could be just tossed in the bin as a piece of rubbish, you know, I look around my desk and I look at the feathers. Here it is. I've done a video on feathers, how we receive our messages. I don't keep the good one. I keep the bad one as well. That video is out there if you want to talk, if you don't want to watch that one. You know, I, I keep little reminders. I've got rocks on my desk. I've got pens on my desk. I've got all this, what other people would call rubbish or crap. Because to me, it represents places I've been in my past where I'm thankful of who I was in my past, but now it shows me that I'm going forward. And look at this one. I've even got an, a, an empty clip seal bag. Now, you know why I keep this? Because this empty clip seal bag has got possibilities that I can fill it with. So even an empty clip seal bag is something that I can turn around in five years time and say, okay, what am I mentally today going to put into that bag? What issues are from my past? What trauma have I been through? I'm going to fill it all into that bag and then I'm going to send that bag into the rubbish bin so I don't have to deal with that anymore and then I can heal it. Because the more we say to ourselves, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, the more we're actually saying, I think I'm getting better. It's not that we were ever sick or worse or bad, but we're getting better than who we were before. You look at even someone like Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, even. When they started walking around and starting to talk to people, they everyone thought, oh my God, this is the best person on the planet. But even after doing that for three or five years, they got even better at it. Wow! Let's aspire to be like them. Let's aspire to be like angels today. I think I can be like an angel. I think I can accomplish that task. I think I can finish that book. I think I can even just sweep the floor today because I'm so sad about things. But as long as it's something, guys, one little thing is all we have to do. 
We don't have to clean our whole house. Just pick up one pile, one pile of paper and say, I'm just going to sort these out today and that's enough for me because I think I can accomplish something else just as good or even better tomorrow. So get yourself something, a little reminder, guys. Just something that you can carry with you. So whenever you're feeling lost, you're feeling distraught, you're feeling sad, you look at what this represents rather than what it is. And you say, what does this represent to me? This is all my goals. This is what my potential. This is where I'm going in my future. And that is how we create it into the now. So the magic starts within us. Hope you like this video, guys, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.